Hey everybody, it's Bunny. How are you today? I'd like to know. Today is gonna be another haul video, and I feel like I've been showing uh, so many new things lately that it's almost shameful and a little bit disturbing. I need to go to some kind of rehab facility for some kind of over shopping syndrome. But it's Halloween, and there's so many spoopy things that I want to buy lately that I just cannot contain myself. No self-control. So, today is going to be the Lush Halloween Hurl. I have never before caught any of the Halloween products at Lush. Every year I've ever tried to get any before, I've missed out and they're all sold out at lightning speed. And I don't know if my store was just particularly lucky or if it's because I remembered to go to my Lush store on Halloween product launch day, which was the fourth. So I was able to get one of all of the different Halloween goodies. So let's just look at them together. The Halloween set that they did this year is this super awesome wizard hat. Wizard hat? And it comes with a pom-pom dingle ball. Supposedly, you're supposed to be able to actually, realistically wear this wizard hat as an actual hat. We are gonna test that theory as we open it and look at the things inside. Inside of here, you get three different products. You get the Wizard Bubble Bar, the Sparkler Bath Bomb, and the Starlight Star Bright Luxury Bath Melt. I feel so sad for ripping this because it's so beautiful. I'm so sorry. <gasps> Behold what we have in this container chubby worms. Ooh, and they smell so nice and fragrant and lushy. Here, make a wish. <laughs> Here is the wizard bath melt, and mine got a little bit festive in the box. It's got like yellowy stuff all over its face. I think normally uh, Lush Bubble Bars, you can get a couple different uses out of them if you don't let the whole thing dissolve at once. It smells very like woodlandy, but like almost a little bit sweet, kind of like a candy-ish kind of smell. Cast a spell over weariness with this shimmering bubble bar that makes bath time magic. I think that this was supposed to have like yoing yoing in it. I never know how to say those words. Pretend like I said it right, please humor me. Here is the extreme extremely shiny starlight star bright luxury bath bar and I'm going to open it just so you guys can see it like not all wrapped up in plastic and stuff. Ooh, this is very, very citrusy and lemony. I like it. I can see where this would be like a good one to use in the morning. Very refreshing. Ooh, I feel like I'm like blowing glitter in the air. Do you see that? Oh, do you see that? So magical. And then the last thing that comes in uh, the wizard hat. Oh no, mine's broken. Mine is in two pieces and that's not really that big of a deal to me because when I drop it in the bath, it's gonna like all bust up anyway. And it's also kind of cool that it's broken for this video because now you guys get to see the outside and uh, the inside. So uh, there is a lot of uh, sparkly golden looking glitter on the inside. So definitely one thing that the Wizard Hat products have in common is a lot of glitter, which is kind of fun for the Halloween season. So I'm just gonna like dump the remaining chubby worms out now. Oh my goodness. Did you see all that glitter and dust? I'm just now realizing you guys can't see this wizard action. To me, personally though, it kind of looks more like a dunce cap than a wizard hat. Is anyone else seeing this? I do like the dingle ball though. That's like my favorite part. I'm like a pony that you would like drape a carrot in front of to like keep me trotting along. <laughs> I get enough horse teeth comments already. I should never compare myself to a pony. All right, moving right along. This was a new product for Halloween this year. And also the Sparkler Bath Bomb. This was a special Halloween product as well. The next thing that I got is a chunk of the fairy ring soap. This is a product that you literally have to see in the store or online. I'm so glad that I got to film a little clip for you 
guys when I was picking up these products in my store. You see this little chunk of soap. It is not that impressive compared to what this chunk of soap comes from. When you go into the store, it is like these huge blocks of soap in the shape of fairy mushroom houses. They have little windows and little doors and it is so precious and adorable and I so wanted to buy like the whole fairy house, the whole hunk of soap, but I'm sure that would have been like several, several hundreds of dollars and kind of impractical to like rub a gigantic house all over your body to take a bath. And I'm glad that they cut me a piece with the little magical polka dots in it. This almost smells a little bit similar to the Wizard Bubble Bar. It also has yoing yoing in it. And I think it even has like some kind of mushroom in it as well. And I don't really know what a mushroom smells like. It smells very earthy and very refreshing. That's what I feel like I'm saying is like everything. It smells like fall. It smells good. I'm just like the worst, most generic fragrance salesperson today. I'm just like, try it. It smells good. The next thing that I have to show you guys is another bath bomb. And this is called Northern Lights. I absolutely love the color of this product. I have seen somebody post a picture of it like in their bath water on Instagram and it looks so magical and purple and it's got little glitter stars in it and it has like such a 90s vibe to me. I love it so much. It looks so pretty. And this one is kind of like a lighter smell to me. Almost not really like fruity but kind of florally. I think I remember jasmine is one of the things in here. The next thing that I got is the most Halloween-y looking thing to me. When I saw this on Instagram, I almost died from excitement. It is a sparkly pumpkin bubble bar. It is so pretty. It is so golden. It has a little stem and I have been so, so nervous this entire time between the time that I bought it and brought it home to the point when I would film this video that I would like knock the precious little stem off but I'm glad that I kept it intact until I filmed this video. Once again, this definitely has a lighter scent to it. The girl in the store told me that it's kind of almost like a tutti fruity scent once you drop it in your bath water. It definitely kind of has an orangey kind of citrus scent to me. I love it and it's beautiful and I can't wait to like emerge from my bath like golden and shimmery like some kind of magical pumpkin creature. And then the last thing that I got that's part of the Halloween collection this year and this is definitely a re-release. I've heard of this before. I've seen it online before. I've never had one for myself so I'm so glad I was able to get it this year. This is definitely always one of the fastest sellers at my Lush location. I have no idea why. I guess everyone loves it. And this is called the Lord of Misrule bath bomb. And that name is almost kind of like a tad bit horrifying to me. Like who is the Lord of Misrule? It sounds like somebody I would come across like in a dark alley or like a hole in the ground, like the center of the earth, like some kind of demon. King Lord Misrule. Is anybody vibing with me on this? The reason that I have always wanted to get and try this one is it has a very Christmassy tree kind of smell to it. And that is honestly some of my favorite scents in perfumes and soaps and anything that I would put on my body to make me smell like something. I love trees and forests. Mostly I like looking at pictures of them though. I'm not like a camper or like a woodsy kind of person, but I do love trees. So I cannot wait and it has been so, so hard to not just immediately go home from the store and drop this in my bath. But I saved it for you guys so that we could look at it together. So take a moment with me, look at it. Wow, so exciting. That is it. That is the entire complete Halloween collection. If you guys love Lush, I hope y'all got to a local store or got online. I'm not sure if these things have sold out or not. I hope that they haven't so that this haul is like semi-relevant so that if you see things that you like, you can order it for yourself. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts and comments as usual. Leave me something down below. Tell me hello. Tell me how you're doing. If it just so happens to be your birthday today, happy birthday. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below. Subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyard girl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyard girls. Same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. 
Bye.